Father, we love you. We praise you. We bless you. We thank you for this another opportunity of giving us to gather together around your word, Father. Bless the our eyes for this see you, Lord Jesus. Bless the our ears for the hear you, Holy Spirit. Our hearts are blessed. Our minds are blessed. Especially to speak to us, Holy Spirit. And we bind any mighty spirit, any evil spirit that will try to hinder the flow of the word or, yes, or distract yes. or cause confusion in any manner. We curse it right now yes. in the name of Jesus. And we shall hear, Father, yes. all that you have for us on today. Yes. And we bless you, Lord. Bless you. Oh, you're worthy, you're worthy, you're worthy, you're worthy, you're worthy, you're worthy. Thank you. You're worthy of all praise, all glory. For thine is the kingdom. Yes. Thine is the power. And thine is the glory. Yes. Forever and ever. Amen. 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 All right. Let's grab a Bible. Bless God. It's good to see everyone. Yes, Lord. I pray everyone had a great week. Yes. Amen. All right. Now, this is this is April. You know, this is our Resurrection season, bless God. Yes. And time we focus on Christ and, and all he's done for us, my God. So for this month, we're going to begin a new series. We'll be discussing Rethinking the Gospel. Rethinking the Gospel. In part one today, we're going to be discussing that Christ is the center. Christ is the center of the gospel. All right? So, let's start our clock. Let's go to 2 Corinthians 4, verse 3. Yes, Lord. Now, it says, But if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost. All right? And whom the God of this word has blinded the minds of them which believe not. Lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine unto them. So we see here it's the, end, the will of the enemy to what? Hide the gospel from people. Mm -hmm. yeah. So they can't see the gospel in its fullness. Yeah. My God, help us, Lord. Yeah. They can't see the gospel clearly. Mm -hmm. They can see church. They know when to dance, when to stand, when to clap, when to get a the offer. They know when to wear their hat. You know, they know, they know what, what they know all that. <laughs> but it's trouble seeing the light of the glorious gospel of Christ. Give me the message of verse 3. The message says, if our message is obscure to anyone, it's not because we're holding back in any way. Let me tell you something. Amen. Especially for the love outreach, we constantly preach the gospel. Mm, yes. So if someone says, I don't see it, ain't because we're holding back. No, we get into every day of the week. Amen. Somebody teaching the gospel every day of the week. Yes. So if, if you're not seeing it, mm. it's not because we're holding back in any way. Amen. So what's the problem? It's because these people are looking or going the wrong way and refuse to give it serious attention. Mm -hmm. yeah, right. Amen. Yeah, right. And we hold it back. Mm -hmm. So if you're not seeing it, it's because you're not giving it serious attention. Mm -hmm. You're going to church. Mm -hmm. But you're not giving the gospel your serious attention. Yes, he says, all they have eyes for is the fashionable God of darkness. Mm -hmm. They think he can give them what they want. My God. Mm -hmm. So all they're doing is looking to the world. Thinking that the world can give them what they want. Mm -hmm. Only to be disappointed. Mm -hmm. Only to be frustrated. Only to be let down. Yes, amen. And they have, and they won't have to bother believing the truth they can't see. So they would rather keep looking to the Satan and looking to the world system, thinking the world's going to give them what they want. What are they looking for? They're looking for love. Mm -hmm. They're looking for peace. Yeah. They're looking for security. They're looking for joy. They're looking for happiness. They're looking for purpose. But all those things are probably just shared. Oh, that's in him. Yeah. Yes. That's right. Yeah. So they keep looking to that world thinking, maybe if I just 
do this more, or maybe if I do this, I seek this more, or maybe I get another one of these. He said, no, well, the issue is you're not giving the gospel the serious attention it requires. Yeah, right. Right. You keep looking to the world, mm -hmm. thinking it's going to give you what you're looking for. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you, I'm going to give you, let me let the secret out of the bag. They're going to they disappoint you. Yes, sir. Amen. Satan and his sister is going to disappoint you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm. So it's time that we give the gospel what? Our serious attention. That's right. Yes. <laughs> That's right. Amen. The gospel, when preached and taught right in its fullness, is glorious. Yes. Yes. What is the gospel? It's the good news. It's the almost too good to be true news. <laughs> it's amazing news. It's mind-blowing, shocking news. It's the greatest news a man could ever hear. That's the gospel. Now, I don't want someone else to let stuff on right here. But the gospel is mind-blowing. Yeah. It's shocking. It's amazing news. And we don't want to give it its proper attention. We're going to keep trying to work their system. And Satan's system. And you've got history of generations of that thing not working. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's right. <laughs> it, it, it would be so different if you could point to a generation that says, see, Satan's system work. He has, he has history yeah. of generations and centuries of failure. Yes. Mm -hmm. Amen. Everybody in your family that worked that system experienced failure. And we still want to hold tight to it. And God has said, come over here and work my system and give, give, give it some serious attention. Mm -hmm. I've got some good news for you. <laughs> I have some amazing news. Mm -hmm. And yet we didn't rather spend hours and hours listening to other people talk about nothing mm. and take pictures of their food. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. I don't know what you eat. Yeah. Right. Right. Ooh, I like that. You're gonna like. Uh huh. Yeah. And God is like, will you give me some attention. Yeah. 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 Y
is the righteousness of God revealed from faith to faith. As it's written, the just shall live by faith. Even in Matthew the verse 15. What is the gospel? And that's why I can't wait to get to you in Rome. Preaching this wonderful good news of God. What do you call it? It's some wonderful good news. You would think people want to hear this in the last days. All this mess going on in the earth. You would think you want to hear some wonderful good news. Right. And the wonderful good news is not what's going on with the Kardashians. No. That's right. Amen. I don't want to hear that. No. no. <laughs> Keep it up with the Kardashians. What?
is all about Christ. Yes, sir. Amen. Paul says, but we preach Christ crucified. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Unto the Jews was a stumbling block, and unto the Greeks is foolishness. Mm -hmm. But we preach Christ. We yeah. preach Christ crucified. Mm -hmm. Everything about the gospel is about Christ. Yes. Yeah. It's, it's not about your church or about your bylaws or about who started your organization. Man, my God, and all these rituals and we got time all that. We got to get back to rethinking this gospel. Now, what is this gospel all about? This gospel is supposed to be all about Christ. Yeah. Yeah. We preach Christ crucified. Yeah. Yes. Amen. <laughs> Good God. You got people running through all these man-made hoops and, and, and rules and regulations and, and, and committees. And you got to do all this stuff. Corinthians 5 21. Everything Jesus did was for us. For us. Diagram 1 Before we go any further, we'll that there. We'll come back to that. Everything he did was all for us. Generosity of our master, Jesus Christ. 
Jesus Christ. Rich as he was, mm -hmm. he gave it all away for us. Yes. Oh my God. In one stroke, he became poor and we became rich. Oh my God. Yes. 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 In one stroke, yes. my God. He was willing to forsake all so that we could be made rich. And we don't want to get this eye teaching. <laughs> you don't want to get this serious attention? Everything he did was for us, and you don't want to give this serious attention? Whew. He gave it all away for us so that we might become rich. Man, we got to give this some serious attention. Yes. Give me Galatians 3, verse 13. He did it all for us. Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law, being made a curse for us. <laughs> for it is written, curses everyone that hangs upon a tree, so that the blessing of Abraham might come on the Gentile through Jesus Christ, that we might receive the promise of the Spirit through faith. Everything he did was for us. And we don't get, we got to give it our attention, mm -hmm. serious attention now. Yes. Yeah. You don't want to just be a church going now. You want to, we want to find out. You want to get to take some serious attention. Now, wait, wait a minute. That's what right. did Christ do for me now? Yes, yes. absolutely. Because that's the enemy are robbing. Yes, he yeah, is. You can't what? Steal, kill, and destroy. Yes. He don't want you seeing these things. Right. Right. Amplified, uh, verse 13. Christ purchased our freedom, mm -hmm. redeeming us. From the curse, the doom of the law, and his condemnation by himself becoming a curse for us. You gotta hear what, what Jesus did. Everything was for us. He became a curse for us. Why, preacher? So that we yeah. could be blessed. Oh, yes. Thank God, thank God for yeah. Jesus. Man. Yeah. Thank God for Jesus. Man. Let me tell you yeah. something. Yeah. Yeah. All this other stuff, all the law, whatever it is you tied it to, hey, bless your heart. But I thank God for Jesus. Yes, amen, amen. That's right. Everything amen. he did was for us. Yes, amen. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Everything your stuff got going on, you got to do for your, for, for your God. Mm -hmm. yeah. We're talking about what our God did for us. Yes. yes. No, you want to come on? You want you want to convert to what we're doing? No, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> he did everything for us. Uh, yeah. He he became a curse. For us. Why, Jesus? Because I want you to be blessed. Yes. Come on, man. Mm -hmm. And you don't want to give us attention? Mm -hmm. so, that, so that we can be blessed. Mm -hmm. I said 53, verse 4. It was all for us. I thank God for my Lord. Yes. Amen. Yes. Surely yes. he has borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. Yet we did esteem him stricken, smitten of God, and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions. No, yeah. He was bruised for our iniquity. Yeah, the chastisement of our peace was upon him. Yeah. And with his stripes, we are healed. Yeah. Realize everything we are is because of what he did. Right. Yes. Oh, right. God, man, they want to hard. They hard at all. Yeah. Well, what, the, what the song? Why was we all singing one song? I was over there just crying. Oh, my God. I said, I will not be silent. My yeah.
the next generation. But the fact is, it was our pains he carried, our disfigurements, all the things wrong with us. We thought he brought it on himself, that God was punishing him for his own failures. But it was our sins that did this to him. My God, man. That ripped and tore and crushed him. Good God. Our sins. He took the punishment that made us whole. Through his bruises, we get healed. My God. Man, man shoot. What are you talking about, man? Through his bruises, we get healed. There's no way you can explain it. There's nothing fair about that. Through his bruises, we get healed. Right. That's right. He took the punishment that made us whole. Right. <laughs> My God. So everything about the gospel is about Christ. That's why it's so important that we keep our eyes on Christ. Mm -hmm. Hebrews 12, verse 2. Mm -hmm. Don't you let any other thing come in and substitute and push him out. Of, of, of focus, of, of, of the focus in your life. Looking unto Jesus. Why? He is the author and he is the finisher of our faith. Yes. Yeah. Who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despised the shame, and is set down at the right hand of the throne of God. Looking unto Jesus. Christianity, the gospel, is all about Jesus. We must keep our eyes on him.
God who is rich in mercy, for his great love with which he loved us, even when we were dead in sins, has quickened us together with Christ. Mm -hmm. I love that with Christ, my mm -hmm. Lord. How you get in the club? I'm with him. <laughs> with Christ, by grace you are saved. Mm -hmm. And has raised us up together, made us sit together. He keeps saying the word together. In heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Give me the Amplified, verse 4. Watch it. But God, so rich is he in his mercy, because of and in order to satisfy the great and wonderful and intense love. Look at God, man. His great, wonderful, and intense love over which he loved us. Verse 5 says, Even who is dead, slain by our own shortcomings and trespasses, he made us alive together here in fellowship and in union with Christ. Christianity is all about our union with Christ. Yes. Any blessing, any healing, any deliverance, any manifestation, any good you experience, it's not because of you, baby. Mm -hmm. Amen. It's because of your union in Christ. Mm -hmm. yes. Amen. I hear it a lot. I was, you hear about it going fully well that Will Smith, Chris Rock situation. And he walked up there and smacked that man. But they asked one uh, comedian about it, about, about that whole dynamic, that relationship. He said, well, let me tell you, go and start with this. They're not rich because of any performance of hers. Any wealth they're living in is because of, the, because of Will Smith. Mm -hmm. And she is rich as a partake of that union with him. My yeah. God, we are rich. We are healed. We are redeemed. We are blessed. We are made whole. We are forgiven. All because of our union with Christ. Yes. Yes. Don't get it twisted yes. with your beautiful self. Yes. I know we get saved and right. we get beautiful and right. we get redeemed and we get some weave and, and we start looking better and all this stuff. But remember, <laughs> it's all because you're doing This is all about our union with him. Amen. Amen. Yeah. What did he do? He gave us the very life of Christ himself. The same new life with which he quickened him for. It is by grace, his favor, and mercy which you did not deserve that you are saved, delivered from judgment, and made partakers of Christ's salvation. Everything we are, everything we will be, as Paul said, by the grace of God, I am what I am. No how far he raised you up, I don't care if he take you all into the White House. I don't care if he have you traveling the world preaching the gospel. I don't care if your bank account get as long. My God, they, can't, they just put a setter on that thing. My God, remember it's all because of you. Yes, yes, amen. And I receive all of that. My God, it's all because I'm connected with him. Yes, thank you, Jesus. Yes, sir. Give me the message translation. He gave us his life. Yes. Instead, in midst in, 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 in mercy and with an incredible love, he embraced us. He took our sin dead lives and made us alive in Christ. I love this. <laughs> he did all this on his own. Hear this part. With no help from us. Oh my God. Yeah. For some reason. Yeah. We get saved, sanctified, filled with the Holy Ghost, set free, all that good stuff. Mm. And then we start feeling like we got to help our God. Mm. Mm. Right. <laughs> yeah. wow. He did all this on his own. Yes. Yeah. Yes. With no help from us. No, yes. Well, maybe it's by giving. It. No. Oh. Well, maybe it's by praying. No. Oh. Well, maybe it's not. It's none of that. He did it on his own. You didn't have nothing to do with it. Right. Oh Lord, He did it all on His own. Mm -hmm. Yes. And we want to start taking credit for stuff. Mm -hmm. and, well, how did it happen? It was because of my study time. Wow. I, 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 you don't 
how much time I spend in this bed. Right. You don't have <laughs> nothing. And Jesus said, no, ain't no help for you.
Christ Jesus the Lord, what? So walk ye in him. Walk in him. My God. Rooted and built up in him. Established in the faith. As you have been taught, abounding therein with thanksgiving. Stay connected to him. Amplify to verse 6. <clears throat> As you have therefore received Christ, even Jesus the Lord, so walk, regulate your lives, and conduct yourselves in union with and in conformity to him. Yes. How should we be regulated? How should we conduct our lives? Not out here trying to find our own thing. But we're regulating our lives based upon our union with him. Mm -hmm. Jesus, what is it that you are happy to do? Yes. Not, Jesus, this is what I'm going to do. <laughs> right. And you bless it. No, Jesus, what is your will? As yeah. Prophet shared with us, understand the will of the Lord. Yeah. What is your will for yeah. my life? Yeah. And if I'm walking in your will for my life, it's already blessed. It's already yes. blessed. That's right. right. Yeah. So I'm living and conducting my life in conformity and in union with him. You're not doing anything without him. That's yeah. right. He said the gospel loses its power and effectiveness when Christ is removed out of the center and we place ourselves in the center. Amen. Mm -hmm. Once we take Christ out of the center, mm -hmm. and now it's all about us. Mm -hmm. And how much we give, how much we pray, or how much we go to church, or Jesus. Mm -hmm. We must keep Christ at the center mm -hmm. of Christianity. Yes. Yeah. Romans 11, verse 36. We must keep Christ at the center. For of him, through him, to him, are all things to whom be glory forever. Amen. Mm -hmm. Of him, through him, to him. All things. Amplify. I don't know how I got like God. In fact, for from him, through him, to him are all things. For all things originate with him, they come from him, all things live through him, all things center in and tend to consummate into the end in him. And to him be glory forever. Amen. So be it. My God. Yes. All things center around him, leads yes. to him, comes from him. Yes. He is the originator of everything. My God. And how are we going to take him out of his proper place? Right. That's right. <laughs> Amen. Good God. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> Preaching Christ. My Lord. What else is there to preach? Everything comes from him. It's to him. It's through him. Originates from him. He is the center. He tends everything. Now, you take a branch 
you disconnect that rent from the vine, mm -hmm. just watch it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, just watch it. Matter of fact, me and Mira's out there doing some raking this week. I'm like, oh, I sign up for this one. <laughs> <laughs> and you're out there raking the leaves and you're raking all this stuff. And here's what you realize. Mm -hmm. Everything you're raking up is dead. That's right. Amen. Why? Because it's no longer connected to the tree. My God. It's no longer connected to the vine. Right. So you just, you, you just, somebody let them disconnect from the vine all they want. Just watch them. Watch them. Mm -hmm. Shh. Just keep your eye on them. Yeah. They're dying. Why? Because they're cut off from the truth, the source, the center of all things. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, and, and we, we think the watering comes from the leaves. Mm -hmm. So you, you put water on the leaves. No, they're getting their source of energy and water with what's coming up through the roof. My God. Keep that root healthy, my God. The plant is healthy. That's right. Amen. As long as everybody stay connected, we good. Yes. When you start cutting them things off, my God, you just watch them. It's dying, man. That's all. That's why they didn't keep trying to keep people distracted and keep people, my God, off course. And, and doing all these different things. Why? Because you just let them stay out there long enough. They're drying up. Yeah. Why? For from him, through him, to him are all things. For all things originate with him, come from him. All things live through him. All things center in and tend to consummate and to end in him. Why? To him be good forever. It's all about him, man. Colossians 1.18. I don't, know, I don't think this is doing the offering message, I think. So I know y'all ain't got it, but just work with it. Colossians 1, verse 18. Colossians 1, verse 18 says, uh, give me the uh, King James first. King James says, He is the head of the body of the church, who is the beginning. Here, he's the firstborn from the dead. Why? That in all things he might have the preeminence. Mm -hmm. In all things. Mm -hmm. Give me the amplifier there. Amplifier says, He is also the head of his body, the church, seeing he is the beginning, the firstborn from among the dead, so that he alone, he alone, he did it all by himself. My yes. God, we don't need no help. I don't want to let me have to Jesus. Jesus, I don't need no help. Mm -hmm. I am known yeah. in everything. In every respect, as Prophet just shared, this is what I got from she was talking about occupy. Mm -hmm. That he might what? Occupy. Mm -hmm. The what? Chief place. Yeah. Stand firm and be preeminent. Yeah. He said, in everything, I must occupy the chief place in yeah. your life. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my yeah. God. Mm -hmm. I must be the center of it all. Mm -hmm. I gotta be divine in your life. Yeah. That you're living through me. I'm, you're centering. I'm the center of everything. I must have the preeminence. Yeah. Yes. Mm. Mm -hmm. <sighs> but as we open up with, he said, if our gospel is here, it's not because we're holding back. He said, why? He said, people are not giving the gospel serious attention. Mm -hmm. They're thinking that somehow Satan and this world system can give them what they want, but they're, they're leaving disappointed. Yes. Mm -hmm. Let's keep Christ at the center and, and, and be preeminent in all things. Yes. Amen. Well, Pastor, you're talking about the, the center of the gospel? Absolutely. And marriage. And yeah. family, mm -hmm. and finances, and health, and all things. He got to be in all things. He might stand first. Yes. Mm -hmm. Be preeminent. He occupies the chief place. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Prophet Thomas and Offer, occupy till I come. Mm -hmm. And he said, This is what I'm going to do in your life. I'm going to occupy. I'm going to stay in chief place in all things. Yeah. Well, Lord, is he the one I need to marry? Come to me first. That's right. Lord, is the job I need to take? Come to me first. Yeah. Uh -huh. Lord, do you want me to move here? Come to me first. Yeah. I got to have first place. That I occupy that place. Yeah. Yeah. I don't care how 
out you who he is. He can't have that place. Yeah, yeah that's right. <laughs> well, she passes. She got all the hips, the lips, the dips. She is so beautiful. Um, God bless her. Uh -huh. But that's just not a place she can occupy. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. Amen. You can't let nobody else occupy that, that preeminent place. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you got to let him have that. Have to be, he has to be the center of all things now. Yeah. Man, you bless everybody, love everybody. But when it all said and done, he has first place. Oh, let me write this up. Hebrews 3, verse 1. He got to be preeminent. Mm -hmm. Yes, amen. Well, because here's what happens. Y'all can just put this out here like this. If he doesn't have preeminence, mm -hmm. it's always have you in a place subject to compromise. Yes, amen. Well, they said if we don't do this, they don't have to lay everybody off. And hey, you know God will tell you don't do it. Here you go. If he don't have preeminent, you're going to compromise. Right. That's right. right. That's right. You're going to be given the opportunity. Well, he said, if I don't drink this or smoke this, they're not going to be my friends no more. Now, if he don't have preeminence, right. you're going to compromise. Right. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. You got to be willing to say, no. No. <laughs> That's right. Well, I can be your friend no more. Okay. That's what I'm good with that. I'm good with that. <laughs> We're good with that. I'm telling you. If me not drinking this is going to cause you to leave me, hey, hey, it's fine. But one thing we can't have here is me compromising right. and letting Christ no longer have first place here. Right. That's right. Amen. And because we we, we didn't have, let him be first place in the gospel and in our lives, the church has compromised a lot of things. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We, 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 we shrink back. We don't pray the Holy Ghost. No, we don't want to offend people. Mm -hmm. We don't want to talk about Jesus. We'll, we'll have the other friendly messages because we don't want to offend no one. Mm -hmm. Or we ain't going to talk about Jesus because they might cut off our government benefits. Mm -hmm. right. My God, man. Right. Yeah. Shh. Yeah, You're compromising. Yeah, compromising. My God, we don't want to talk about Jesus. No, we don't want, we don't want. We don't want. Oh, help us, Lord. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. And I'm saying, wait a minute. Because I, I was watching the Oscars for a few moments. And Mary said, well, Dad, because it's not a lot, a lot of, well, help us give me the right word. Uh, <laughs> give me the word. It, what is, it, is it gay activity, homosexuality? What? A lot of that was on, on going on. Yeah. And they was, they was out there on national TV. But if we say something across the pulpit, we wrong. Yes. Oh man. Yes. Pastor, you can't say that stuff. Why? Because we've compromised. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Man. I'm just mad, you know. Yeah. 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 I'm like, you're just gonna think you know, you're not a lot of that's all that's in there. That's what I got. Uh -huh. So all these movies and stuff are getting made by people who practice this stuff. Yeah. Right.
show the rest of y'all. I don't be canceled.
be the Savior, man. Okay? We gotta rethink the gospel. And remember, Christ is the center of everything. He is the centerpiece of everything we believe, alright? If you're not saved today, listen, listen, it's not because we're going to get anything bad. Listen, I'm asking you right now, give us some serious, serious attention, man. <laughs> oh, God. Give us a serious focus for a few moments. How would you want to pass this deal up? You have a, you have a Christ who says, I, I paid the price for all your sins. I want to completely forgive you. I'm going to wipe away all your sins. Never to remember them again. I'm going to heal you, bless you, forgive you, restore you, make you right with God. My God, put my favor upon you. Lift you up to new heights. My God. And what, 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 what do I got to do there, preacher? Just believe in Jesus. Just accept the price of, 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 of his salvation, what he's already done. It's the best thing. My, this is the, this is the jaw-dropping, mind-blowing, almost too good to be true news the enemy doesn't want you to hear. That's you today. Let's do it, man. Let's make Christ the center of your life. Man, I thank God for that day, man. I made the decision to receive him into my life. There's no regret, no disappointment. He is the best thing that has ever happened in my life. And my boo coming in on second. She she kinda of in second place. But Christ is first. Amen. Don't get it twisted. Amen. Don't get it twisted. I love my wife, but Christ, Christ is first place. Yes. 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 And then the children, they come in third. They get in there somewhere. <laughs> Whatever order they want to get in, they get in. But they in there. But Christ is first. And because he's first, he's the centerpiece. And he causes the, the relationship with the wife, the relationship with the children, and all the other relationships work well when we keep him in the center. Yes. 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 Right? That's what makes marriage work. People say, what's the key to marriage? <laughs> what? <laughs> you both for y'all. Let me tell you something about marriage, man. Marriage only works when he's the centerpiece. Why? Because he is the one who holds both sides together. He is the one who says, "Her go say it's hard." He is the one who tell him, "You're wrong." Go tell yourself. He is the center of yes. yes. <laughs> I couldn't imagine trying to be married without Christ. Somebody be in prison. <laughs> somebody be in a scrape or something. Oh, help us, Lord. Yes, take a day. <laughs> He is the one, man. So that's you today, man. You're saying, Jesus, uh, Pastor, I want Jesus to come into my life and be the centerpiece of my life. Just repeat after me. Say, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus I, thank I thank you for saving me. For you saying your word. If I confess with my mouth, Jesus be my Lord. And I believe in my heart. For God raised you from the dead. You say it. I'll be, saved. I'll be saved. So right now, Lord Jesus, so right now, Lord Jesus I, ask you, I ask you, be my Lord, be my, Lord, be my, Savior, be my Savior, take my life, take my life and, do and do something with it. I receive you now, I receive you now and, I you, and I thank you for receiving me. For receiving and me. I ask you, I fill, me fill me with your Holy Spirit your from Holy the crown of my head to the soles of my feet. In Jesus' name, Amen. 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 Welcome, welcome, welcome. Amen. Welcome to the family. Bless God. Welcome to the yeah. 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 In Christ. In Christ. He is now the center of your life. Everything lives through him. Our encourage is always get you a good Bible or a good Bible app so you can find out and you are now that you are in Christ. He's now the center of your life. My God, find out about this glorious gospel, the jaw dropping, mind blowing. My God, almost too good to be true news about who you are now that you're in Christ Jesus. And we rejoice with you. As the Holy Spirit.
Spirit that leads you to a good church home, man. Someone that's preaching the gospel. Preaching the gospel, man. That's the Holy Spirit that leads you. That's all I got for you right there. And he'll lead you to a good church home. You get there, you get planted. That's God. All right? And you grow, man. My God. The gospel is glorious. And it will transform your life, man. All right? Uh, we'll be back here uh, Wednesday night for Bible study. Some will be preaching the gospel, bless God. That's one thing we're going to do here at Greater Love Out. We're going to preach the gospel. Yeah. And we're going to have the gospel going for every day of the week, bless God. Some out of session will be going for, my God. You got you got the speaking to your life. You got the war room. You got the state focus session. You got the living life with Jesus. You got the Bible studies. You got Sunday sessions. My yeah. God. If you want the word, my God, Greater Love will make available. Yeah, that's right. What Paul said, if the gospel's here, we're not holding back. That's right, amen. Nah. Yeah. We got people, man, who get off work and come and do sessions yeah. just so you can get the word, man. You ever see what I'm telling you? Yeah. Or coming all the way from Suffolk, coming all the way from Norfolk, running to get here, tired. Yeah. 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 Yet they keep doing the session. Why? Because we understand how important it is to get yeah. this gospel out, right? We want you to know what we know about this good God yeah. who's only good. Amen? Amen. 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 Let us stand with us, God. God bless you. Woo! God bless you. God bless you. Yes. Father, we love you. We praise you. We bless you. Thank you, Thank you for all we heard today from the opening evening into now. Close of prayer. You're only good. Yes. And you only have a good plan for all men. And you're telling everybody, go and, and preach this good news. Yeah. Tell everybody about this amazing, wonderful, mind-blowing, jaw-dropping good news I have for humanity. Tell them. Go tell them. That's what I said. Go tell them the mountain. <laughs> Over the hill and everywhere. Go yeah. tell them. Go tell them some. Tell them. Tell them how good I am. Tell them. Tell them. Tell them. Tell them. Tell them that we thank you, Father. We'll tell them. We'll preach your gospel. As long as we are breathing, we will not be silent. We will tell men. We will tell women. We will tell families that God is good and He's only good, bless God. And I thank you for it, Father, in Jesus' name. I plead the blood of Jesus to us all from the crown of my head to the soul that I plead all the way around. Minister, I give you charge with can't run about us, protecting our spirit, our souls, our bodies from our hurt, harm, dangers, and accidents. For nothing and no one's enemies hurt us, no weapon formed against us shall prosper, no sicknesses, diseases, virus, destruction, robbery, no acts of terrorism, no shooting, no corona virus, any variant, common cold, flu, pneumonia. We curse it all right now. We decree a shell not come nigh us. We are healed, we are whole, we're getting stronger and stronger. Yes. And with long life, you have satisfied each and every one of us. And we thank you for it, Lord Jesus. Yes. And we give you all the glory and all the praise for it all belongs to you. In Jesus' name we all pray. Amen. 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 God bless you. And we thank you for joining us. Bless God. Yes. Bless you, Father.